wearing the hat at the moment. Well, I can actually change the intro. Well, welcome. It's uh, me, Eclectic Hawk, and we're going to be trying out the new uh, Harry Potter, well, Hogwarts game. So let's uh, crack on with that. Okay, going to be playing on PC, so, so let's see to start. Oh, here we go, character creation time. Oh my goodness. Um, maybe a good starting point for me. Well, that's, a, that's a pretty decent starting point. Um, here we go. Fish shape. Hmm. That's the problem, it's... Maybe we'll go with that one. Skin tone. Do I have to release it? Oh, i got to release it. And little... Yeah, I'm a... style um, eyebrows are close as well so not too bad um, he's never that well kept um, mm. that's more like what I intend it to be like on a L'Oreal day. Oh, that's, that's more like how it is now. Oh dear. Yeah, let's go with my present hair, st hair colour. <laughs> um, gives me a more distinguished look. Um, what sort of a I oh, know my hairline's more receding now than. Complexion. Uh, kind of bland looking. This would be very unusual for them to have my mole. It's very rare for anything to actually have it where my mole actually is. But that one there, no, it's the wrong side. I don't have a mole like a tear on my cheek. No. No. Wrong side, too far over. And that's more freckles, so. No. No freckles. No. No scars. My colour is blue, but not light blue. It's more of a darker blue. Yeah, that works. Eyebrow colour. Uh, I think my eyebrows have basically same, stayed the same. My hair was originally brown, but then suddenly it's like someone turned the colour colour fade down. Try and lose your character. Uh, voice one or voice. This is wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. 
A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I I'm eager to get the hogs meat. It was that was quite something. Well. I am indeed a student, but I could very I'm eager to get the hogs meat. A few cobwebs and it was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. It was wonderful. I was really hoping to enjoy this class. That was quite something. I'm eager to get the whole need. Okay, I think I'll go with normal. Name. Eclectic. Cork. Dormitory wizard. Start my journey. Ooh. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a secondhand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fay. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Uh -oh. <laughs> Eleazar! George! That my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your findings. I'm apparated to more vaguely to find destination than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fight to some philigoes in the West End. <laughs> It's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must yes. say I best not speak here, Eliazar. Oh, of course. Sinister things. We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Oh. Ah, I see a problem. Yeah, that's what I thought. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? 
she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We do not. You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Okay, so. Got the mouse in the right place to heal. I bet it tastes like goblin piss. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe it. Why is my microphone what picking up so much? What the hell damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? Sir, where are we? A typical sure. dragon wouldn't bother. But that Probably just incinerate it from a distance. An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, well, could... if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Okay, so standard sort of controls. So it's a bit of a tutorial level. Sure, the microphone must be picking up. I might have to redo this segment. How far did that poor key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those roads. Do you the poor key was Doesn't to seem to be a very nice I place do. to live. I, I this has not been the day either of us expected. Although I suspect that, that you don't that get many callers. For a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however okay. faint it may be. Hmm. Loot, wonderful loot. Mind yep. your step. Jump off to my death. Sorry, Professor. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching well, for I've evidence no idea of a long for rough. form of ancient magic. It's her own life. She wanted to vote next. Rough. 
ancient magic. Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to well, generally just throw the ground. But you know, it is the wizarding world. Well, it's the 1800s. Everyone crack open your opium pipes. I should be wearing my top hat for this. Oh. <laughs> We've got the classic game jump. Was built by and oh. is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into the screenshot button work on PC. But I well, it does, but it's a message with the frame rate. Uh, that's the path down below. This way. Ooh. Frame rate didn't like that one. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Because he's crazy. Miriam wanted to understand like why such yeah. powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What, what the... really matters is the one who wields it. What about if it involves the one ring? Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some mm. of that wand work you were practicing. Okay. Focus on the center. Okay, basic cast. Oh, so that's more of the that's the flicky ones that everyone seems to do in the films. Just a little. Some players play the slack targets immediately out of the same song, so the same in camera relative. Okay. Woo. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Don't worry, it won't be fatal to you yet. Not until you've, you've served your purpose on this tutorial. I, I just get a really bad feeling about this this professor. Oh, He's way too friendly. <laughs> it's like we're close mm, now. It's friendly professor ahead. doomed to die. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That portkey led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. That strange glowing object over there would definitely seem to be out of place. Or that. Oh wait, that's just things I'm showing interest in. Uh, this in the middle of this your kind of object. Professor, perception check. It's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Something. Cock growing. It's a partridge in a pear tree.
Professor, this statue... This may have been his home! Okay. Interesting chap. Oh. What's that? Did a double jump? That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? Okay, I'm just gonna block this. <laughs> This. Professor Fig. Oh. Oh, it's showing how the place looked when it was um, an actual place. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Goblin's heart. That just sounds awful. Hello? Excuse me. <clears throat> I love goblins, they're fun. It can't be. Uh, just a moment. Especially you see they're very different to goblins in most other fiction. Much more um, <laughs> civil. <laughs> you know, not one, no bad guys like in. Um... Welcome. Well, actually, the they're not green skins either. Vault number twelve, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key. Mm -hmm. The white port key. Oh yes, of course. Rick Gringotts? Or this didn't know Gringotts had branches? Stay well, close. I suppose. Why not? After you. Doesn't sound sinister in the slightest. Keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> nice little nod to uh Ooh. how many volts are there? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. That was a private you entrance. Want to take a breath. A what? Makes sense for people who don't want to be observed. That new beautiful washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. And it was in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Well, yeah. 400 years of banking. You're going to be there for a while. Now, that bloke at the bottom there, is he just the most trusted Vault or do people just not like him for him Vault to be all the way down here momentous day <laughs> hmm. on your way extra security makes sense Ooh. 
foreboding. Professor, hmm? the armband that god was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, I'm darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. <laughs> What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, it's all I of Gryffindor. The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Oh, there must be a way out. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, no. Huh? What am I supposed to be doing? Study your wand with L and guide it along. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, is that just Rebellion. to learn? There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Oh, I don't have to do that freaking thingy every time, do I? A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Let's investigate that one. Lumos! So this is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. See something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos. What happened? When I Ooh. moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I bet I've got to stand on top of it. In I the see exact some same sort of pose. statue, but only as a reflection in the yeah. floor. That's what I thought. The 
There must be something to that reflection you're seeing. Reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Ah, pretty simple. I just want to blast him. I don't want to stand here and get clobbered. No, blast him. Why the boom mic is still picking up something. Maybe it's not too distorted. Maybe it's just picking up a machine humming and like doing its thing. On the fans, they probably are a bit noisy. Oh yeah. Lumos. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Lumos. Okay. Oh, that's where they're leading me. Let go. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Perhaps 
Perhaps I need to get them all to stand at once. Protego! Revelio! Lumos! Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Oh, pretty guy. Or too late. Or not seeing it at all. So that's going to be my go to move. Definitely. Oh, the thing's down there. Yeah. Cool. Oh, we got here. Something sinister. Lumos. Floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder.
was in place. The Porky is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see I'll traces, see traces of magic. Of magic. Like magic. Uh -huh. The ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge. Well, they've been the very lucky. That accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing magic. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems. Are the key to understanding why. Ooh. We were all look rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. Ooh. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Ooh. Maybe the vault doesn't like the fact that... Uh... <laughs> Oh, did you just pick a fight? He's a lot bigger than you. Oh, come off it. He's not going to get squashed, is he? That's almost as controversial as dying in a car crash. That's a scandal. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? It can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to.
dogs. Seen worse tutorial levels. sorting ceremony I'm no expert but that seems more appropriate now I need to study this locket as soon as I can but first I must contact the ministry they need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock for the moment I ask that you keep all that's happened Ranrock. this evening between you and me of course sir thank you ready for the sorting ceremony to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Okay. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Um. You belong in Ravenclaw. One more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. 
You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. So now let's clear off. Go away. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. Done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I want him to be in the perfect place, a place he'll be happy with, but I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones! I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. <laughs> Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma fig. Teaches about theory, it seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wig and Weld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. Oh. This is sounds cool like beer. For students to you have to do that in the real world. Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect.
Well, nice it was to nice to meet you, you, Samantha. Good luck with your Disney. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. That's just brilliant, Ami. Brilliant. You think you could... Ah! That is not how that... Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Mm. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. Cool. Always wanted to learn a bit about astronomy. I hope astronomy is on my schedule. Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all 50 years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. And that's Amit. Just have to wait for the right moment. One moment. Watch this. So I chuck a hand grenade. Into that group of people. <laughs> that wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. He's he's kind annoying of, by already. The way, you seem downright calm next to some of these characters, and you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, yeah, I some did. are just absolutely. But probably best um, I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push the limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. Please, nice they could you. see you. You too, Everett. That, that was hey just... There. Everett, you just annoying. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You would best not keep her waiting. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. I can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Okay. Here you are. Uh, pages are escaping. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be okay. wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Wizard pockets. Thank you, Big On the inside. What do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps 
Seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Okay. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. Ooh. Kill. So I've got to go around blasting things with Regalio. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Revelio. So that's what's going to be. A lot of walking around Hogwarts using Revelio on stuff. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Nice. Come back here after class. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your nice. field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Nice. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. Nice. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, 
focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecat in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade yeah. is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Mm. We have to. Thank you, Professor Weasley. Sounds disgusting. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Oh, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Yes, he's secretly in league with... Speak of the devil? Someone. Professor Rag Fig. Ragnarok. Your ears Red must rock. have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Ooh. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly Can good boats get and carriages wand. to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, yeah. Professor Fitz? He's got to remember the bell is for the, the, the bell is for the teachers, map. not for you. Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. So and make sure to use Revelio on everything. To me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Cool. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Nice. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Oh, 
Okay. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. Ooh. For now, so we do our first day with a... and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. What are you up to now? Oh, they have a like a fire spell. Tends to go on a bit. That's cool. So you can come back and explore. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to Year 5 of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Wow, we've well, got a class of dimwits. Like dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Oh, I have to... That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it, 
You might just rival Miss O'Nai here. And I will be. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After <laughs> me. I know I've been playing this. I've been playing this for an hour and twenty minutes, and I haven't used Avada Kedavra yet. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Well, I was watching some videos this morning, and it so, was like, what better um, than a bit of sport? It just seemed to be like whatever you did, Avada Kedavra. <laughs> <laughs> it made me laugh. <laughs> so cute. Um, there was a great uh, clip on TikTok where it was like, it's, it's, um, it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. At which point it's like, cuts to the person. I've got a cadaver! <laughs> Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last point. Possible moment. Okay. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the bottles out, you are some very good. Not to worry. Okay, and release it at the last. Splendid! Happens to the best of us. So it keeps rolling for quite a distance. Excellent control there. Okay. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. Nice. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. So it seems to go the Way too early. That is how it's done. Oh, I can't win. Because I messed up. Oh, rematch. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go! I just what? forgot to release. Very 
Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be a dirty cheat. Okay. Oh, it doesn't work. That is how it's done. Oh, it doesn't matter if it falls off afterwards. Oh, that's annoying. I know everyone is watching. Oh, I'm so bad at rolling balls. <laughs> I've only got 80. What? Very good, both of you. Well done. Rematch. Rematch. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Ain't got any stuff, it all got wrecked well by a dragon. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at oh, once. Oh, I did terribly. To I, I thought it was like bowls or something like that where I you would like knock their bowl out. My mother received an offer but no, you actually, you, all you can Before do is increase their score. We had left Uganda and Which were halfway around the world at a new a school weird. in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes. Nah, nah. I just didn't know it the rules. It seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? It addresses mountains of the moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this oh, enormous cool. school that seemed to be floating in midair. Mountains of the moon. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. Well, I suppose it it one must be dramatic. Useful. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio and A word, if you would. If you're so inclined. Well, Why would I want, want to? To speak with me, Professor. I did. You I trust your you first you. charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well... An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, mm. Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor. Though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, 
Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Yes, Expect I've to got hear from lots of homework regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. See, there's some interesting stuff in this. You've got to, you've got to um, do a lot of um, looking around, a lot of exploring. Um, and I like the sound of that because the, the, the castle is massive. Hello. How was your first day coming along? Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your I mean, we saw charms. a puzzle earlier on with these revolving. Uh... I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother these revolving really told tiles. You to be so humble and to trust your abilities. At the bottom of Ravencrawl Tower. To be overconfident in his. So well, yeah. Better see to my charms homework. I think it's going to be interesting I'm once. I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Once we get our own wand and got some uh, supplies. Ooh, what's that? And well, they basically imply to do this on ev pretty much whenever you enter an area. Just oh, I must be downstairs. So that's Professor Fig's room. Rebellion. No. Reveal your secrets. Like that chest which is in here. In the toilets. Stylish casual school uniform. Why are you there drinking? Yeah. Revelio. No. Ooh. You can't imagine. How inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Huh. Nice. Oh, you use that in combat. Like when you when you Protego. use Protego, if you hold down the button for Protego, it casts. I'm a Ravenclaw. That's a Hufflepuff. Am I a Hufflepuff? And I certainly wasn't going to be a freaking Gryffindor. Freaking try hard. Freaking sweaty house. Rebellion. Let's go and do our defense against the Dark Arts class. So we can learn how to <laughs> cast the unforgivable curses, maybe, I don't know. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, what do we have? Oh, we have the classic game jump. Oh, no, it can't be down here because it was upstairs. Because he walked in here by accident earlier on. Ooh. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Let's do some defense against the dark arts. Double 
you've got. Uh, Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. <laughs> it was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking uh. yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Mm -hmm. Today we will 900 years old you each. Look as good you will not. The hands of mm -hmm. dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? Yes, a Vargas. <laughs> One thing I've learned as an unspeakable <laughs> is the value of simplicity. <laughs> Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. Well, I suppose, yeah, Levioso could be useful for various different things. Okay, this is going to be a tricky one. And off we go. Oh, no, I messed that one up. Need it. But you only have to do. But but it's Leviosa, not Levioso. Now let's try something a little larger. Ah. <laughs> It's just going to be the go-to one, isn't it, throughout this. <laughs> Bombarda Maxima! <laughs> Let us begin with the basic cast. Uh, well. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak. <laughs> now, well done. Ah, so pick them up and then blast them. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start. I think a better people. way of doing it would be to pick them up and then bombard a maxima. The ground underneath them. They won't be expecting that. Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Oh no! Oh man! This should be easy. Complicates things. This can't be your first choice. Stupid one. Let's just say I'm a quick. I'm not calling my students for this adept. I do join. The world's a kid. Yeah, that was some great fun. <laughs> just lift him up and blast him a couple of times for the shame of it. Ah, for a beginner. You give as good as you get. No, I gave better. And you sucked. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. No, I didn't. I Point exceeded it. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to Freaking practice. Freaking owned him. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. Terrible I things, but great. things from my students. They are capable <laughs> of achieving it, and they must achieve it. And all with the explanation of, but it was wonder, intellectually smart. But battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different... You, there's nothing stopping you being a dark entirely. wizard and also a Ravenclaw. Oh, professor. So, I'd advise you, you to justify your, you can. You justify your Perhaps evil with, Sam um, you know... You. Again, it's all, well it's all, uh... Intellectual, you know, theory, assignments. testing things, you know, oh, like the Rani or someone. Spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Mm. Uh, I want to see nice if there's work. any secrets in here. Oh, do I have to talk to this numpty again? I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. 
Oh, Everyone yeah, why, why on earth would I want to be in Eagle practice. House? Practice. It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Oh, there like again. him? Perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Yes. Huh. Fair enough. <laughs> You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive unsanctioned, unsanctioned dueling organization, right? <laughs> Sounds exclusive interesting. And unsanctioned. Count oh, me yes. In. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Oh, well, I'm liking this already. Dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just yes. have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. Especially when you mind. start looking Good. up books about Horcruxes. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere <laughs> unsanctioned. We'll see if your performance today. <laughs> if you're gonna murder people, at least murder people with skill. some, you know, Look for added benefits. The top tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Uh, uh. So, in defense against the dark arts, we've learned to break the rules by joining a secret dueling club. I think I'll wait until I've got my own wand for that. You've dueled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Oh, those faux glasses. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the when the professor I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Mm -hmm. Why does it seem like there's a chest or something? Oh. Hmm. I'm really enjoying it. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. It's awful if you're Uh, this is the PC version. Revelio. Whoa, that was creepy. Oh, that's when I want it. No. Lumos. Hmm. Rebellion. Level two lock. Ooh, and it reveals kills our stone arts with joy to be in the presence of such arrogance. Off on another adventure, are we? Rebellion. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything. 
Ooh. Oh, what's that? That's all about. This was the thing I saw earlier on. The only problem is I don't know which one this corresponds to. Oh, maybe it's... Oh, it's a, it's, um, there must be a second one around here. Rebellion. Oh, no. nice to see you, my young friend. It's not that. There must be two of these. This is some sort of number puzzle. So that one and that one, 17, that one and that one, hmm. I'll come back to these. There are clearly other ones of those around. Rebellion. Hello, welcome. I just was uh, taking a wander around the castle. Oh, here we go. Painting with ears. Collect field guide pages in Hogwarts. I'm very good. Oh. Rebellious. Angry. See, it's enough. Oh no, no. West Tower. That's locked. So we're gonna have a um, gonna have the key unlocking spell at some point. Maybe that isn't what I think it means. I'm sure he's in at the present moment, the headmaster. Would be sure to tell him how very much you despise. Oh, my exams. <laughs> Not a one of them deserves more than a tea. Okay, is there a flu? Quick travel. We 
Comparative gear can be changed to any... Oh. Okay, so we've got transmog. Effectively. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking... Oh my goodness! <laughs> You could help. Wow, there's eyebrows and there's oh, eyebrows. Excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your nah, Dobby doesn't have such well. thick eyebrows. They did, Professor. I heard as you have much to take a lawnmower to those. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? Some ruins? A good Not yet, he hasn't even been born yet. This is like, me. um, 1800s. Oh, Dad. Have you and Professor Fick not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In yes. that regard, Crucio. I asked your professors to help hasten your progress Imperio. with some extra assignment. Avada Kedavra. <laughs> Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. Yes. We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank Sweet. you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. Yes. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand. Yeah, I don't want to be going to that theory. dueling club. Yeah, I, d I don't. <laughs> Can you tell me more about the potions? I don't want to be like going into an illegal dueling club with a borrowed wand. <laughs> you know, they that's. <laughs> Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Be like going into a freaking illegal street race with a freaking garage loner. <sighs> like the one from the mask or something. Before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Sweet. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Well, Mr. I suppose Ollivander people are going to be breaking their wands all the time at the school, so... I would trust makes sense that there would be a wand shop nearby. You would make a roaring oh, trade, to get to especially Hogsmeade. seeing it's Very what well. the only. Like what was it saying? The only the um, the magical village you in England. So, oh, in, in the UK. So yeah, that time, makes sense. Yeah, as I said, you'd make a freaking roaring trade. Oh, I don't know. Excellent choice. Miss Oni is one of our most talented students. I mean, it's, um, she knows the area. She'll keep you. I'm also thinking about it. If you were in the north of the country, because Hogwarts is in like freaking, like Scotland, you're not going to go all the way to freaking London to pick up stuff. You're going to just go to Hogsmeade if you can. If it's nearer. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. Even no if it's full of kids, it'd be you know, you better than uh, work, the sooner you can enjoy a butter beer at the I don't rooms. want a butter beer, it sounds disgusting. I, I just uh, I've had beer milkshakes before and they were okay. But just butter beer just oof. Just makes me think of anchor gold shoved in a pint. Oof. Stick of anchor gold ah, in your there pipe. You are. There we go, Professor. You have a new spell. You're going to have to play that ball Indeed game again, are you? And an exceedingly useful one at that. Oh, Reparo. The mending charm, Reparo. Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. 
which would be very useful if I wanted to go into a muggle repair industry job. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class. Takes seconds to fix stuff with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, oh, something wrong with your laptop, Reparo. A few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged quickest repair company in the world. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Reparo in no time. I'll complete I'll the task task right away, Professor. I want my own wand. I like the flying page near the broken statue. I like the flying page. This is the right Okay, area. so it's going to be. Easy. Flying page must be around here somewhere. Huh? Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Oak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for Zim no reason. Zim Zim Zenobia Oak. Uh, wh why does everyone, everyone hate, hate you? you? Why? Are you the heir of Slytherin? <laughs> bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst. That no talent moon mind. I want to be head of the friends, jewelry club, but then so also be like anti-bully. Like no one's bullying, and I'm going to be like top duelist. To like you, you want to bully you know people? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Yeah, you'll make and a million. Is one of the worst losers. Get on the Eric, a dragon's den. Terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Oh. You're a, you, you were taught how to fly. That's as if they overreacted. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. Well, I don't have a broom. I don't think broom. I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. Oh, I'll be no. back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. So, gob of gobstones, so yeah. But, um. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. Where you go? You fly down here. There we go. Two for one on. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. But I can't fly yet. Can I change which quest I'm on? There we go. That's the one we want. Do you want to get to um, Hogsmeade? Hey. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't. Too I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. It's one spell. The old mending charm I don't know how to fly yet. I don't have a broom. Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. 
Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Oh. I didn't realize the first one was an X. So that will be... Repairer. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Oh, I saw that one earlier. Well, I thought I did. It's an entirely different thing. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. No, I need my own I've stuff. To it. <laughs> I'm not too worried Good. about seeing Hogsmeade Shall yet. Set off? I intend to give you a first rate Hogsmeade experience. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> no, not with, not with my like, learner wand. It probably won't work. Or something really bad will happen. That won't be killing. It'll be something stupid. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. Short cut. I had a to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might Natty, be able to Natty, you're asking me out on a date. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's hour was perfect. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lace-winged flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Yeah, I'm totally grabbing as many lace wing flies as possible because I remember what they're used for. I remember what lace wing flies are for. Apologies, potion. I can't remember what the other ingredients are, but I remember that bit. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs. What startles a hippogriff? It's not going to be like a fox or something. It's like, oh, something, something startled the hippogriffs, so they've all flown off instead of just turning around and murdering. It's off limits to students. Ooh, we've got a flip proud of vacation limits? for the Forbidden Forest. The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think I call it forbidden, only makes it more alluring. 
Name it's dangerous. Yeah. Uh, oh no, the Forbidden Forest is um, was not to be accessed by any students, and yeah, that was the one later. Yeah, I've got to get my own wand first. I confess, I can't keep using this stupid loner wand. The area. Crud. I think yeah. Oh yeah, we've seen um, seen someone die. So yeah, we can actually see Thestrals. Much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Once I've got my other wand, once I've got a nice new wand, I will go to the Forbidden Forest. Well, I'll try to. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. And said, I just want my own. I want my own wand first. Yeah, once I've got that, then, you know, it's a pile of cadaver and, and fun and stuff. Out of the and exploring to Plastic stuff. Quite a bit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just randomly assaulting a person. <laughs> Hopefully it will for you too. I'm going to have to auto-save and then see if, um... See if... Excuse me. Oh, he, he didn't look suspicious for a second. Excuse me, you want to buy some second hand lace wing flies? Turn and run. Is everything alright, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Dougly and Aryan. Terrifying. Demi. What? Demi guys? Good luck to both of you. Uh, let's can get me a decent oh, one. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. Yeah, he's totally tripping. <laughs> I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. He's, there he's clearly got some sort of addiction. Of the walls, not just Probably just a butt of beer. I am happy to explore mm. whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Yes, get out of the way, peasants. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for battle. Times and scrolls. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with Edwin's cauldrons. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Yeah, it's difficult when you got a, uh, some sort of addiction. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to scrolls. explore a little <laughs> Scrolls! They're everywhere! At your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Yes. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Something smells. <laughs> okay, if you insist on me looking at the map. Okay, so we've got Dress Emporium, latest hairstyles. Beast by Beast Byproducts. This sounds like a shop that's gonna be selling Muck. Clothing shop. There's two locations in London and Paris. Hogsmeade Square. Steeply and Sons. Local tea shop. Ooh. Honey Dukes. Oh, the Fudge Shop. Sonko's Joke Shop. Three Broomsticks. Sporting Goods. Oh, we need to go there because we need a broom. And Ollivanders. Okay. Your wonder waits. Now close the door, young man, because there's likely to be a great deal of of collateral damage. Shop. Shop. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, 
Just a moment. Does he always greet people in that creepy way? Oh, it's Hello, you. Sir. I'm looking for, for a new one. Yes. It's about time. Yes. I Suddenly about Harry Potter time. doesn't seem well, quite so special if he greets everyone like, in that ominous well, way. Of course you are. <laughs> ah, it's you. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure. I know it's a different Mr. Ollivander. Now, come with me. Let's find, Let's find you the perfect, perfect wand. One, yes, um, uh, one made of elder no, no, wood. No, not you. Um, oh, yes. Yes. Hmm. Is it going to give me the one from the, from the thing? Hmm. 13 inch dragon heart string of um, well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oof, crack. Oh dear. That one objected to me, I suspect. <laughs> I don't think it likes me very much. Well, as I said, the one that I got on, um, the one that I got on, because uh, it, it asks you to link your account to Pottermore. Oh, did he say thirteen-inch dragon heart string? Been rejected by a stick. Like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. Well, the one, as I said, the one on. Where are you? Perhaps the one you? that it suggested on that was, as I said, 13 there inch dragon heart string of. Um, yes. Something else. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. Oh, it's not showing it, so you can pick it. Yeah? What about it? I haven't been in there. I haven't been in there. And I'm streaming. Finalized wand, crooked spiral. Yeah, that is the right one. Laurel, 13 inches, slightly springy, dragon heart string. Okay. So it did actually take the one from notched. Classic grey, soft spiral. How intriguing. Natural grey. I think I'll go for the natural. Natural honey brown. How intriguing. Yeah, I like that. Wood type, yeah, go with the... Yeah. Yeah, I'll purchase that. beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sense the sort of surge of some kind. A match. Unlimited connection power. Particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. 
I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised. But it hates it if you're lazy, according to Pottermore. To perceive your intentions. But so it has actually it, taken my suggestions from Pottermore. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Because that was exactly the one it said. If ever I can be of further assistance. So that's quite cool. But it actually did that. Because I did all the, the tests on Pottermore. And it was like, uh, when you link the account. Who did I need to speak to? Pippin's potions, magic neep. Well, they're all down that way. Tomes and scrolls. Okay, so we'll go there first. Get our books. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, Ooh. it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. Do what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take Oops. a look around at the rest of my infantry. <laughs> I haven't got a hat on. I haven't got a hat nearby. Um. What? I shall make you a VIP. I, I don't know how at the moment. I just wanted to have a look through these ones. Beast feeder, beast toy box, chopping station, dung composter. Oh, I knew that'd be that. Tossing things, refinery. Refinery? T shaped potions. Okay. Well, I got no, no money. Okay, well, that's cool. I can make potions. So, well, I've got no money, so I can't get anything from the joke shop. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. 
pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss La Wang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals, anything you can do with a wand, I've always I, said. I wouldn't know. Potions really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And oh. I unveil new oh, ones from time to time. That's probably what the uh, guy was complaining so you about. Don't, uh, miss out on anything. <gasps> but for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Okay, so... Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Focus, or come potion, back time thunder if you're in a rush potion, today. visibility, maxima potion. Ooh. Stench of the dead, spider fang, sleeping toadstools, troll bogeys, mongrel fur, schwinder, dunwar, mace wing flies. Oh, so we can sell stuff. I'm surprised he doesn't want our lace wing flies. But maybe he's got enough. Ah, so we can make some healing potions. Cool. Oh, wrong way. Oh, no, no, no. It is the right way. It was like the last shop on the way. What's this? Yeah, this was the one we wanted to have a look at. What spells does he sell? Let's oh. look at what we have, shall we? Oh no, we've already been in here. So we were going the wrong way. But yet he seems to Let's look sell at what we conjuration have, spells. Turned around while I was walking through. Oh, maybe this person will be the one who wants some lace wing flies. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. The Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has mm. the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. 
I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty I of got ingredients. Sweet seeds. Not grass. Molly wheat. Well, that's Fertilizer. everything. Better go and find Natty. Dittany leaves. Boxweed stem, not grass, sprig. We got anything we can sell him? Stylish uniform that we found. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favourite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Back route this guy. Wow, that was a bit cheap. Okay, okay, that's just like being freaking cheeky.
Sonic the Hedgehog. Gotta go fast, yeah. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Um. Okay, so I've actually got my proper wand. Let's put on my. And I picked up this suave looking uh, bonus gear. Let's try that again. Ah, I have everything. <laughs> Plus, this time I won't waste you know health by trying to uh, use Protego on this. It doesn't seem to work. more like it. What was that? I was trying to beat him in his own game. Shouldn't get smug like when it's like, right on me. Okay, that works quite nicely, just randomly hitting the barrels. Yeah, as I can shut. Oh, that gotta hurt. I need to make sure you don't just like that's not working. <laughs> Okay. Uh, 
Um... Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll? By yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blow. I just blew honest. it to bits. Beard. Are you all right? We are. We're um, to help. I'd say um, help is a bit of an Let's just use the killing curse. Nerve like that. The making is killing, of killing a troll is still killing. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few. I'm going to ask a ban. Of course, officer. Singer, officer singer. Officer singer. And thank you again. Nice. Oh yeah, I can repair the damage. Repair. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Who's in the Dementors? Yes. Repair. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Just repair people's lives with Repairo. <laughs> Can you, Mr. Potter? I'll have to stop what I'm doing to pet the cat. You know, just. Excuse me, shopkeep. We were just talking about you. You were? Hello, oh, I, don't I should get there. a discount. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. Discount? I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protection. Because you wouldn't want anything to happen to your shop, would you? And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Oh, that's cool. You won't be disappointed. That's a try. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. Uh, so we've got 180. <sighs> Mysterious corduroy robe. <laughs> I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. 
I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined? You're most welcome to open with my shop. Come on, Natty. Natty just wants to go to the pub. For a long day. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Zerona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. said you could get to the Chard when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the Chard, then you have no value to me. Ravana Kanavra! <laughs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't oh, think so. yeah. What's that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. <sighs> Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Yes, let's go and have a drink. It's a treat to see you, Lord God. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are. <coughs> Time, maybe. Oh, it's Rookwood. Was that Logbook I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you wrong with that voice? For one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, oh, lovely. Ranrock and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Didn't even get to enjoy my pint. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. 
I don't want her to worry. Well, how do we... Well, I think that is where we will call things a day for today. Because I'm getting hungry. So, I'd like to... Th I will I'd like to thank everyone for watching and say good night for now. Night.